It's my favorite segment of the show. We call it You Already Know What It's About To Be. About to be top three, top three with Crystal Lee. That's me. Now, this is when Crystal Lee gives us three of the top trending topics in the nation. Crystal, what's number one? Big man, you are hilarious. He do not be want to turn my mic on. You can't, because you might fall or something. I I don't trust you. I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, we got to talk about President-elect Donald Trump, who uh, just had his first press conference since the election, and in true Donald Trump fashion, um, I'm just going to let you hear what he had to say to the CNN reporter. Go ahead. Mr. President-elect, since you are attacking no, our news not organization, you. Not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization You are is attacking terrible. our news organization. Your organization Can you give us a chance Let's to go. ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, Quiet. can you state... Can, Quiet. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you say categorically... She's asking a question. Don't Mr. be rude. Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be rude. You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you give no, us a question? I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You sta- can you stay categorical? You are fake news. Sir, go ahead. can you stay categorical? You categorical? Are, fake are fake news. news. So he was talking to a reporter from CNN. So, um, yeah. Why does everything have to be so combative? Like, at know. some point, we got to be able to d- agree with, disagree without being disagreeable. Like, that sucks. Send him a letter, Willie. Yeah, send I'm going to send him a letter. I was He's just, not going to read it. I, I was thinking, I've seen a lot of people re- really going hard on Donald Trump about this, but there was plenty of times where I wished... Barack Obama would have probably said that about Fox News or something like that. Like go yeah. away because, because if he did do it, we'd all be cheering for him, just like Trump supporters are cheering for him. So I, I, I sat there and I looked at it. And I'm like, this is very interesting. That's all I gotta say. It's very interesting. I ain't gonna say nothing. Man, very man, interesting. Man, nothing to say about it. You gotta charge. You gotta <laughs> very try the hard right over the easy wrong. Like when you're the president, you're the president of all people, right? All people. So it is what it is. Number two, Crystal. Okay, so uh, this new TV film, Urban Myths, uh, it's going to include Michael Jackson, and people are well, very upset about what? What did you say, man? Well, I mean, not if he was like actually in the. Let, um, could you let me finish? I'm sorry, go My ahead. job. Thank you. you. you uh, you're Thank right. you. You're right. I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, there is a white actor playing Michael Jackson in this film, and people are very upset about that, obviously because Michael Jackson was not white. So one of our favorite comedians, Kev, on stage, this is what he had to say about it. Y'all could have got Jermaine Jackson, touched the grease on the side of his head, and fashioned a better looking Michael Jackson That's if this true. is what you was going to do. You could have got Joel Osteen if you just going <laughs> to throw people out. He got a soft voice since you're just picking anybody out the blue. Where's Prince Michael? Y'all couldn't get nobody. Y'all should have just canceled the show. Listen, hey, man, Kevin. <laughs> you could have got Joel Osteen? He, he, got, a he got a soft voice. voice. Listen, everybody has been like, are you serious? So the trailer came out and there are pictures. We're going to include them on our Instagram at WMJ show so that you can see this mess. Even uh, Lil Paris Jackson has something to say. She was like, I'm incredibly offended by it. And I'm sure plenty of people are as well. And it honestly makes me want to vomit. Wow, and it, this is she. I mean, she just put it all out there. That's his daughter. It she look, like. Mm. It looks terrible. It looks a mess. I'm not <laughs> and the and the thing about it is the guy who who is portraying Michael Jackson, he's not a bad actor. Like he's yeah. been in some in some nice productions. Nobody said nothing about the acting. I'm I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to no I'm trying to figure out. What was he thinking? Right. The check was we right. talked about this on on top three a minute ago when it when the news came out. But yeah. um, now that we see the actual look, which you have to see, you have Woo! to log It'll on be on to WMJ show. WMJ yes. show on our Instagram. Oh my! Indeed, number three, Crystal. So, um, the last days of our President Obama, he just surprised a VP Joe Biden with the highest civilian honor, which is the Presidential Medal of Freedom. So here's what just happened. Joe, for your faith in your fellow Americans, for your love of country, for the final time as president, I am pleased to award our nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. For the first and only time in my presidency, I will bestow this medal with an additional level of veneration. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to award the Presidential Medal of Freedom with distinction. To my brother, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. Robinette. Wow. (laughs) Now, when this first happened, I'm going to just paint the picture for you. Um, Joe was surprised. He did not know that this was going to happen. And instantly he turned around, grabbed his tissue, and he started crying. And you know me. I'm over here crying with him. I literally had tears streaming down my face because they really love each other. Like, this is not just a job for them. Like, they really, really love each like other. This, like, this is a surprise on surprise because yeah. Joe was up there looking clueless. He's like, why am I up why here? Why am I standing here on this stage What are we right doing? What are this you, a 
the last days here of our job. <laughs> right. What I got to do now? Man. You, you have right. to see, he's turning around. He's crying. I mean, I'm just literally like, I'm in this bro ma- bromance with them. Like, right. I love y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Wow. Crystal, how do we find you on social media, honey? At I am Crystal Lee, K-R-Y-S-T-A-L, another L, E-E. And follow me at Willie Moore, J-R Live at Willie Moore Jr. Live. When we come back, we got to keep it 100. And uh, I'm going to need your help with this one. Ooh-wee. Flat out.